And so this um, brings us to the um, second um, differences there, going with the Safari example again. This, uh, I think, applies to all programs. I don't think you can change the setting unless I miss something here. Uh, do let me know. But the, uh, every program, so I bring my camera closer here, the, so it has all the similar Windows looking stuff, but um, it, as you notice, the, the main menu there, if I bring my cursor at the top here, all the menu items, they're all uh, pinned to the top of the screen, unlike uh, Microsoft Windows program where everything's uh, attached to the, um, to the main window of the program itself. Not the case with Mac. Okay. And the second thing that I'm going to mention is that the, the difference in terms of installation of files, uh, it is actually a good thing. I, I like it uh, this way uh, since Mac Mini, is, uh, sorry, Mac OS is based on the um, Linux uh, Unix platform. Uh, when, when you download packages to install program, for example, um, when I installed uh, Microsoft Firefox, um, the the Firefox itself, um, the, you, you get a bunch of files and then you just download them to to your hard drive and off you go. There is no need to run like installer, you know, writing to the registry and, and all that. It's just a set of files, you just use it straight away. And when it comes to uninstallation, you don't need to, you know, like go to Windows, um, either you manually clear the registry and all that, or you go through the Windows uninstallation process. This one, you just find files, delete them, you're done. Um, the, but that a drawback for that is I, maybe it's just the way the developers design their programs for Mac. But I found that some of the programs I've downloaded for Mac that the installers they only uh, let you to specify which hard drive you you can install to. In this case, there's only one drive for that Mac Mini. But with you know with the Windows installer, it lets you to choose which folder as well to put in. With this one, not the case. So you just download it to their default location, and then you move the file afterwards. So slight difference there. And now the um, the third thing that I'm going to show you is that the keyboards. And now uh, going to the third difference being the keyboard for uh, Apple products like the um, Mac Mini. Uh, it has a uh, different keyboard to set up. It has the control button and the um, option button as well. Um, but uh, worry not, um, the, you can use uh, normal PC keyboards and map the um, sp uh, Windows key and the Alt key to the um, con control and option button respectively. So if you go to system preferences then sorry. Okay, also there. If you select keyboard and then if you go to modifier keys there. Okay, so you can map the um your keys there, control to what control and all that. So it is very useful to have, um, of course, to set up all the um, the shortcuts there. Because um, I don't know for one reason or another, Apple's uh, they're different to uh, PCs. So um, you can't say, for example, you know, doing a find, you do control F. Doing a search, you do control, sorry, control F for search, and then doing co save control S. And in that case, they have their own uh, the uh, using the command key, the so command F, command S. Uh, without them, you can't really use shortcut. So I do recommend you map your keys over there. Um, okay, um, that, that's about it. Um, I haven't really gone through um, lots of the um, the other software itself for Apple Mac Mini. Do post questions if you have any. And I thought before I, I leave you, I'm gonna take the camera out and I'm just gonna show you uh, one good, really good stuff about this product that's how silent it is I'm just gonna put the camera very very close to the vent at the back and yeah I can't hear a thing at all and so yeah that's the last thing I want to mention it's really really silent okay um, so thanks for watching guys